Hi, replay viewers. This is Susan with Unsolicited. Welcome to Taylor May Thursday. Um, I'm glad to see you guys this evening. Um, well, I'm going to get right into it. I left a little clue as to what I was going to be talking about today, and it's going to be brief. Um, and uh, it's going unscripted. <laughs> um, I saw something today, and this is why I wanted to talk about it. I sort of changed the program a little bit. I was in in Joanne Fabrics today, and I just went through the Simplicity book, and I was thinking, um, hmm, let me see what's there for spring and, and winter uh, for this year. So I saw a few patterns, and I was like, there's not a whole lot of variety here in the newer patterns. And I also thought they were a bit basic. So, and that's not uncommon um, for any of the big four pattern companies um, because they're geared toward, you know, uh, beginner sewists. But that's really not the whole reason I kind of took pause because I have been talking about made to measure patterns for the last few weeks now. And I wanted to sort of open your eyes as to how they sort of play well together, made to measure patterns and commercial patterns. Hence the cover, um, um, title uh made to measure excuse me commercial patterns versus made to measure pattern it's really not versus it's sort of like and <laughs> made to measure patterns and commercial patterns and how they play together so i want to take a quick example from a facebook post i found um and sort of address that okay and how they play together so let me show you um let me get into it here didn't um uh, get my screen up yet but I will okay all right here is the Facebook post you can see that let me see if I can got it in here You should see that. All right. 
here's the Facebook post. It says that um, this person was making this um, jacket and she she noted that the bus dart was a bit high for her. And let's see. So she thought she was going to have to drop the bus dart two inches to make it fit her. Now, this is all before she even made the thing, I think. <laughs> but she did at least, it seems like she might have taken proper measurements to see whether or not um, this was going to work for her. And so she was looking for some insight into, well, what type of issues anyone else has had and things like that. And that's typically what a sewist would do is to kind of poll the community to figure out what... Um, what they need to look out for when it comes to making a garment for the first time. And a lot of people chimed in with their experience with the garment and saying that, you know, their, you know, bus stars may have fit just fine and all of this, um, which is great because it's very helpful to have that information from someone else who's gone through it, right? I uh, said, so, but um, another thing is that she still will have to make the garment though <laughs> for herself and to figure out all of those fit issues on her own, uh, although that insight is helpful. She still has to do it. So she did find a tutorial, it seems like, from someone on YouTube uh, about that. And yet, yet again, she still has to make it for herself, even with all the information that she's gathering about it. Um, so I um, want to make the comparison to a major measure pattern. So let me sh show you this pattern at least the simplicity pattern in detail. And I'm not picking on simplicity by no means. I'm just saying that this was the simplicity um, pattern was the one that we're just going to feature for today. So as you can see, um, she was talking about the bus start and it's sort of a, actually a bus start that's off of Prince's seam right here. If you can see in view D here, it on the printed jacket that the model is wearing. And I'm not sure what the person um, which view the person was going to make, but you can't see it. But there's a bus start right here, and it is actually high on this lady, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and the prince is seeming here. Um, so, so that was an issue for her, and she wanted to know she couldn't. She, in order to make that adjustment for that bus start, she would have to um, do that manually on her own with that pattern. Now the difference. Let me show you with a made to measure pattern. Let's get over there and I'll show you that. So I went ahead and created a made to measure pattern like the one that she has. So I'm going to have to get in. Let me see if I can get into another screen here. One second. Oh, let me see. Well. Mm -mm. Yeah, and I'm going to see if I can bring hers over to this screen as well. Let me see, okay. Just give me just a second. <laughs> I'm working on it. Let's see. Let get it over here. I don't know. Nope. Um, all right, bear with me just one minute. Let me see. Okay. Let's see if we can get it to come up here. And while that's coming up, I'll show you this top. See, I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so we can see the made to measure pattern illustrated that's similar to it. Okay, it has that princess seaming there and the, the shortened bus start. And the bus starts only shortened because there's a that princess seam panel on the other right, you know, the uh, side front panel is there. And it has that's the peplum, this other one, very similar. We have the bell sleeve also. But for this illustration, I kind of want to point out that the person who had the problem with the fit issue or potentially a fit issue with the bus with the major measure pattern, she can enter in her own personal size, her upper bust. And if you can look over to the right, I'm going to show you that. 
you can enter your measurements if you can see you can hit enter your bust your under bust your waist your hip measurement and your full hip measurement and for this we just need we're going to be looking at the bust and the under bust so those two measurements she could enter in here specific to her so that she gets a better fit on this bodice she can even get even deeper with it so so this is sewist.com if you didn't know the website is sewist.com where you can get major major measure patterns from okay so what she can do also with an account this an account is free is save her information into their system which calculates all of her measurements i mean to the nth degree all of the measurements based on these i think it's six measurements that they they ask is the height bust under bust waist hip and full hip so that's yeah six measurements okay so based on that they count it's it's automatically calculated um they automatically calculate your measurements based on their um their software they have here so what you end up with is a more detailed measurements system and mine and i'm not ashamed to show you mine <laughs> I'll show you mine. So you, what you end up with is so the C right here, and I'm gonna go into edit under my sizes. So you'll go. Um, that is found in the Sewist CAD tab. Now, if you go back to two videos back from this one, I walk you through how to navigate Sewist.com's website. So uh, that is in there, and it is actually um, there's a chapter broken out for this specific illustration so you can actually go in there and see see it yourself so i won't stop and kind of explain everything <laughs> so but here um this is where all of her measurements end up after you enter the initial six measurements this is the calculation and breakdown of the remaining measurements for the full body okay based on if this is i think it's i can't pronounce the name I think it's anthropometric uh, measurement system. Is that what they use? I believe it is. <laughs> Don't quote me on that though. But anyway, this is where you can get all these measurements here. And for the me measurements that are um, that have boxes here, grayed out box on the right, you can change these numbers. It'll only it does have parameters set where. If you go outside a certain parameter, it'll sort of say, no, this doesn't work for um, this measurement or, you know, they'll sort of guide you, not not let you mess it up, basically. <laughs> but you can, you can switch, um, you can change these measurements to, to fit your liking. Let's just say you, uh, for her, we have this jacket. And I'm speaking of this one. Now she likes the sleeve, so she maybe she wants to click and keep the sleeves or whatever and then she wants to keep the peplum she can definitely do that and mix and match and that's another point that i wanted to bring out that you can mix and match the made to measure patterns with your commercial patterns so i hope you heard me say that and this is what i'm really trying to bring home here how useful a tool made to measure patterns are so you can mix and match them um because if you match the fit also the measurements you still have to kind of gauge what the measurements should be at the waist and the hip on on both patterns you can you can actually do that i'm not going to go into detail here but you can um you can do that even before you purchase the made to measure pattern unlike a commercial pattern you have to buy it and examine it at that time but you can do that before you purchase it um so now I'm going to get back to the measurements. But here, if she had a problem with her bust point, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and do this quickly because I want to kind of end pretty quickly tonight. I don't think it says bust point. It's going to say bust. Let's see. Oh, wait. Let me find the bust measurement. Oh, help me. I'm going to find the bust. Let me see. There's bust girth. Let me go. Let me just let me find it. 
there, there's bus girth two, which is, uh, let's see, under bust, bust height. There we go. So the bust height, this is measured from the neck point in the back across the neck point at the side to the breast apex. So this is my particular measurement, okay? And I'm gonna show you where that is on the body. So SZ35 corresponds with this measurement. So we're gonna look on the right side here and see, I think it's on the, oh, I should look and see what figure that is. That says on figure three. So I'm gonna go up to figure three. That's five, four, that's figure three right here. And that's SZ35, which is 35 here. That's this line right here. See the um, line that comes from the back of the neck down. So 35 is the point where that's the bust apex. So just to say the young lady said, or the person on the Facebook page said that the bust start looked to her on the commercial pattern to be too low, I believe she said, or too, no, too high. So she needed to adjust it. Here, she can take her own measurements on the major measure pattern. She can take her own measurement from the back of the neck to the bust apex find out what that is, if it corresponds with what was already pre-calculated on the system here, then she's good to go. If it needs to be tweaked a little bit, if it's wrong by whatever amount, she can enter in because, and I won't let you change all the measurements, but only those where you can see there's a, a box here and you can highlight and, you know, I can change that. I can delete that. Yeah, so I don't want to. Um, I actually changed it for myself because I did uh, have to make my adjustment. But you can change, she can go in here and change that bus height where that dart ends at the apex. Okay. So, if no, for nothing, for no other reason is to tweak your patterns this way before you even print it, where you won't have to do this manually yourself on paper, this is a game changer for me. Um, for me, but I'm sure for you too. Hopefully you're all getting some aha moments here as to how you can use this made to measure pattern as a tool. So that will alleviate that one problem for her. But understand that if her shoulders are too wide or too narrow, or if her, her uh, waist length from the shoulder to the waist needs to be shortened or lengthened. And that's sometimes the often that people have that issue with um, commercial patterns, that lengthening and, sh and um, shortening the waist. They show you the line in which you're supposed to use to do that, but you can do it here automatically. And the good part about a major measure pattern is from then here, from today forward, <laughs> Every pattern you create in their system will have this correction in it. Therefore, if it if you've gotten the pattern to fit you everywhere else and you've made the tweaks and the changes you need to make, every pattern going forward would have those changes and fit you well. For the um, structured garments like this, or, or yeah, structured garments like this, it's it's very valuable. It's invaluable to have this ability, the ability to do this. And made to measure patterns will give you that, if nothing else. Now, with sewits.com, I, I tell people, and I, I'm, I'm not, I'm being transparent about this, it has bugs in it. <laughs> see, as you can see, there's a zipper. This is the line drawing in this computer generated. The zipper comes all the way past the peplum in the center. And you know that's not right, right? Things like this will happen. Don't let that deter you from having an accurately measured pattern. They may not be great at the illustration or even the patterns come with a little bit of, uh, maybe the line will be out of line somewhere on the pattern, but typically they're sound patterns to use to uh, create your garments from. So now there's also ways to edit these patterns also. Um, any little issue that you have with them, you can edit them yourself, but that's outside of sewist.com. Um, I want to talk to you about that in later uh, videos. But however, this is what I wanted to show you tonight, that you can take and mix and match. For one, you can take your mix, your major measure pattern and your commercial, pa commercial patterns and mix them together and create your garment. The uh, made-to-measure pattern will give you the fit 
uh, resolve the fit issues for you when uh, you're talking about um, uh, making, you know, if you have a garment that you need to fit. Now, the caveat to that is that the major measure patterns that don't, they're not exactly like the the um, commercial patterns because some of the commercial patterns are well designed. There's design elements and things like that, but but there's enough variety in the major measure patterns that you see in these same variety in the commercial patterns that you can sort of see how you can use both together um, to make your garment. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, I just wanted to bring that out and let you guys um, uh, know that it's time to experiment with these major measure patterns. <laughs> and I hope that you will. Um, let's see, let me get out of here come back to you but um yeah i hope um sorry about that <laughs> yeah i hope that you will try to experiment with made to measure, measure patterns so it's.com is one that i use and lakala.co which is their parent company is another that i use um and don't be afraid of using pdf patterns in also um they offer I want to let you know that if you don't like to tape those patterns together, and that's usually some of the reasons, most of the reasons why people don't like PDF patterns, you got to tape it together. And I don't understand. I don't tape mine together. <laughs> I um, print mine in large format print. Now, um, before you order your pattern or while you're ordering your pattern, you have the option of printing in AO format, which is the larger format. You also have the option of downloading it as an SVG. I suggest you do that because you yourself can rearrange your pattern the way you want it to have it printed the way you want it. You can eliminate the pieces of the patterns that you don't want. In this case, if you have a jacket, uh, you have the bodice of the jacket like the one we spoke about, and you only want that bodice piece front and back and the side, front and side back pieces um you can just print that if you have the svg file and soas.com offers you um that svg file as well and you can take that and print it at the large at the um at your print office like office depot office max or a place where they print um um architectural documents like that so but however i, I forgot what i was going to say um so yes, you can um, print large format in this. So don't be deterred by uh, having to tape pa pages together because you have options in this case. Now, um, that is it for tonight. And I'm glad you joined me. Thank you so much. If anyone has any questions, I'm here to answer questions. Um, but just think about going forward to try made to measure patterns. I don't want to push it on you, but I'm just saying that this is something that I think um, most newer sewists don't know about. And those who've sewn for many, many years ago <laughs> and are getting back into sewing, you may not know about this either. So I'm going to keep talking about this subject and with many ways you can use made to measure patterns as a tool to help you um, be a better sewist. And um, until next time, um, my name is Susan with Unsolicited. We're going to break down fashion one stitch at a time. And I hope you'll join me next week.